Oh, it hurts so bad. The uh, Browns dropped a big one um, against the Falcons. Um, inexcusable loss. Um, you, you know, you can point fingers everywhere. You can say it's because it's Miles Garrett and J.J. J- 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 Klein didn't play. And a uh, defensive tackle, which, you know, out of all the points, that's probably the big, the best point to me. That really hurt him defensively. Um, Mary, Marcus Mariota for the Falcons only completed seven fucking passes. Um, one drive, they fucking, uh, one drive that pretty much capped the game off for them is they ran it 11, 10, 11 times in a row and drove it all the way fucking down the Browns' throat for a touchdown. Literally ran it like 10 times in a row. With backup running backs, Cordell Patterson went out early with injury. And, you know, people want to say it's communication problems with the defense, and that, that might be some of the problem. That might that might be the, the problem, like, at least the first couple weeks with the blown coverages. But Joe Woods, it's not Joe Woods' scheme, I don't necessarily believe. I just don't believe in Joe Woods. When you, and this is on Kevin Stefanski, too, when someone's gushing you down the field, 10 times in a row for running the ball. At some point, you got to fucking call timeout. I mean, I know we had guys out. We were thin on the defensive line. But you got to call timeout and you got to regroup real quick and figure something out. You know, that's ridiculous. You just let them run 10 run plays in a row and just all the way down the fucking field. I think Joe Woods needs to be fired. They're probably not going to fire him. If they do, it'll be at the end of the year when the season's over. But they need to get rid of him. He does not make adjustments. Um, for instance, this week they played the Chargers. The Chargers are prone to give up a lot of points, and I think we can score a decent amount of points on them. Um, it just depends on if Kevin Stefanski gets too uh, cute like he did against the Falcons and wants to pass the ball for a uh, fucking four plays in a row on the goal line instead of running when you got one of the best running backs at offensive lines in the league. But um, Justin Herbert's a fucking boss, man. He's going to throw all over the fucking Browns defense if they don't fucking mix it up and bring some blitzes. But Joe Woods ain't going to fucking do that. He's going to do the same thing every week. He's fucking stubborn. He's not going to make changes. Yeah, that's just how it is. And, you know, that, 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 in the end, that, in the end falls on Kevin Stefanski because he needs to go up to him and say, look, motherfucker, we can't be doing the same shit, especially when we're thin on defensive line. We probably aren't going to have a Garrett this week. Clowny, I don't know. He's doing his normal clowny, I'm hurt shit. But, you know, you're, you're going to have to mix it up, man. Like, or he's going to fucking tear you apart. And if the defense secondary is looking around like confused, like, oh, I thought you had him, I thought you had him, we're fucked, man. He will throw all over us. You're going to have to hold the Chargers to 21 to 28 points at the most, 28 points, to have a chance to win that game. Now, it isn't Cleveland, it's a West Coast team coming to Cleveland, but I, I know the Falcons game was bullshit. I don't give a fuck about the Jets game. Yeah, that was bullshit how it ended, but you should have won the fucking Falcons game. It's ridiculous. You know, you fucking got too cute. Kevin Stefanski, Kevin Stefanski out coaches himself. Instead of doing what what he knows he's supposed to do and knows what the Browns are as a running fucking team, he tries to prove to the world that I can fucking throw the football. I can get creative. And he fucking runs tight end reverses. A reverse with the fucking tight end. Like, what the fuck, dude? I know Jay, David Joke is a great athlete, but damn. He, he just don't, you know, he don't adjust to the game. He, he, he just, he, he overthinks shit and tries to get too cute and tries to be the smartest guy in the fucking room. But regardless, Joe Woods, you know, he, he's, I would really like to see Joe Woods get fired. I'd like to see them promote um, Chris Kiffin, the defense coordinator. But they won't do it. They, they, they just won't. Um, I've said before, I didn't really expect much of the Browns this year because of the Deshaun Watson shit. But they showed promise early on they could hold down the fort with Jacoby, Jacoby Brissett. And now they're 2-2, two and two and they got a fucking fucked up stretch coming. They got Chargers, Ravens, Bengals. The schedule's about to toughen up. And I don't. I have faith in the offense, but I don't have faith in this defense. And a lot of it's because I don't have faith in Joe Woods. Um, we'll see how it turns out next week. I'm going to go ahead and predict the Chargers win. But we'll see. Go Brownies.